The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven through his name. I am writing to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I'm writing to you, young people, because you have overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you have come to know the Father. I have written to you, parents, because you have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I have written to you, young people, because you are strong, and God's word remains in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or what is in the world. If anyone does love the world, the love of the Father finds no place in him. Because everything there is in the world, disordered bodily desires, disordered desires of the eyes, pride and possession, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world, with all its disordered desires, is passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. In our response, it's taken from Psalm 96. Give to Yahweh families of nations, give to Yahweh glory and power. Give to Yahweh the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Adore Yahweh in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, Yahweh is king. The world is set firm, it cannot be moved. He will judge the nations with justice. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. There was a prophetess too, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came up just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And as the child grew to maturity, he was filled with wisdom. And God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord.